sort of everything had come to a head. I had, you know, the, the abandonment, the Justin Bieber's mom is finally opening up about her son's alleged grooming by industry giants Usher and Diddy. Patty Millett is telling the sad story of everything Justin went through as a child in the entertainment world. We all heard the rumors of The question is, how much does Patty really know about this alleged grooming and is it the untold reason behind Justin's career breakdown? Add on to that, drug and alcohol use and just everything sort of came to a head and spiraled out of control. Sources suggest that Diddy forced both Justin and Usher to seek the same freak offs meetings he forced Cassie into. And Patty reportedly believes this is the reason Justin is dealing with PTSD and mental health issues. There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, um, you know, shrooms, everything. And it was just an escape. Justin was on top of the world until his career took an unexpected turn. In February, he sold his music catalog for a whopping $200 million and then suddenly canceled his world tour the next month. The question is, what happened along the way? Back in September, Diddy announced a surprising collaboration with Justin on his album, sharing a revealing clip of Justin in his audio. In the caption, Diddy wrote, Justin Bieber has become one of the biggest superstars in the world. I met him when he was playing his guitar outside on the street. I'm honored to call him a dear friend and a brother. I never had the chance to work with him until now. God is the greatest. Diddy's claim of meeting Justin playing guitar on the street is weird, especially since we all know it was Usher who introduced them. But why is Justin still hanging around with Diddy? Well, recent reports suggest that Justin has some sort of trauma bond with Diddy that goes back years. Around the age of 12, Justin's mom Patty started uploading his singing videos on YouTube. One video in particular caught the eye of Justin's then-manager, Scooter Braun. Scooter was so convinced that Justin could become a superstar. Eventually, Scooter reached out to Patty, urging her to let Justin go with him to Atlanta. At just 13, Justin headed to Atlanta with Scooter to record demos, where Usher took him under his wing. God knows what happened from this point, and sadly, Justin's mom revealed it was from that moment Justin changed a lot. A lot of people criticized Patty for bad parenting, but was going through a lot at the time. As a teen mom who raised Justin alone after his dad left, she faced her own struggles, even contemplating taking her own life at the age of 17. So Patty probably saw this as the best way to provide Justin with better opportunities than she had. Trusting Scooter and Usher to protect him, she believed it would lead to Justin's success. However, once Scooter and Usher took charge, Patty lost control over Justin. In 2009, she told the New York Times, No 15-year-old wants to be around his mother 24-7, and no mother wants to be around her 15-year-old 24-7 either. It sounds like she was trying to justify the fact that she let 40-year-old Diddy take home little Justin to spend two days behind closed doors. What's even more disturbing is the famous video that surfaced where Diddy said he couldn't disclose what he and Justin were about to do. This is how, yo, um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. This makes us wonder, what were Diddy's intentions for spending 48 hours with a 15-year-old boy in his own house with no cameras? Now there's a video of Diddy telling Kevin Hart how he and Usher used to wake up together and wrestle when Usher was just 10 years old. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older. His older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented.
<laughs> Yo, what the fuck did Puff just say? Keep in mind that Diddy is 10 years older than Usher, so for a 19-year-old man to have such interactions with a 10-year-old boy who isn't related to him is really strange. And then Diddy mentioned having legal guardianship of Usher when he was just 13, when he was sent to Puffy's flavor camp. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, uh, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. Something really sick must have happened behind closed doors, considering Usher tried to distance himself from Diddy. You can see how uncomfortable Usher gets around Diddy. Witness this recently resurfaced clip where Diddy puts Usher on the spot, asking why they don't hang out anymore. Usher, how you been, man? I've been seeing you so long. How much did we drink? <laughs> 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 hey, Diddy, you know. He don't even know what's going on. <laughs> you trying to say something, Usher? I'm trying to say something. What do you want to say? I don't know if I should, but I'm what? trying. Well, we drank a little bit. Now observe how Diddy did the same thing with Justin Bieber after their 48-hour hangout. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good? Everything's Selling great. out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... You I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got, got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Tell you my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On top of this, rumors are circulating that it was Diddy who introduced Justin to drugs at his parties. Allegedly, this experience is also the reason why Justin wants to protect other young artists from going down the same path. In his 2020 interview with Apple Music, Justin broke down crying while discussing his protective feelings towards Billie Eilish. He reflected on his own experiences and challenges as a child star during the emotional conversation. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so if she ever needs me, I'm going to be here for her. But, um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters and um, I just want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. After the disturbing new allegations about Diddy emerged in the aftermath of Cassie's lawsuit, reports indicate that Justin's mom, Patty, is allegedly starting to question Diddy's relationship with Justin. Sources close to Patty suggest that she is unsure how to approach this sensitive subject with Justin. Reportedly, Patty feels a considerable amount of guilt for letting him go with Usher and Diddy in the early stages of his career. Fans are exposing Patty for being a terrible mother, for essentially selling her son to the industry. One said, Bigger question, why would his mom allow her child to go to a grown man's house knowing his history, and continuously allow him to be in Hollywood knowing all what happened to him? Another person added, Well, it's not too big a reach for me because it's obvious. Justin's mom sold him and made millions off him while Justin was being taken advantage of by Diddy and multiple people at those parties he used to have. What are your thoughts? Do you believe Justin's mom knew about what Diddy allegedly did to Justin? Be sure to check out our next video for more insights.